500 words. Psst. Hey, you. Yes, you. Let's make a deal. If you agree to listen to what I have to say, I'll give you a heads up about something which directly affects you. Don't worry. I promise to keep it short. They've only given me about 500 words, so I can't go on too long. Still with me? Great. First of all, you should know that I'm dead. No, really, I am. Fine, don't believe me. In fact, I prefer that you don't. But play along for a bit and use your imagination, okay? Now then, when I died, I was given two options. The first option was simple. Move on to whatever lies ahead, leaving the world behind. This is the usual choice, even though they don't tell you what lies ahead. The second option was more complicated, so they gave me more details. Basically, it works like this. I would be given a tiny amount of influence to dispense as I saw fit throughout the life of a loved one. I could whisper in their ear, give them little nudges and flashes of intuition, that sort of thing. Like looking at a timeline, I would be allowed to view the whole span of my loved one's life to see all its brightest and darkest possibilities. Then I could spend my influence to both increase their blessings and help them avoid devastating tragedies. Yes, I'd be like a guardian angel. Pretty nice gig, right? Well, there was a catch, of course. Because love always requires a sacrifice. If you choose to become a guardian, your previous life is erased, wiped out, deleted. You aren't just forgotten. You will never have existed. Apparently, this is done to avoid the problem of creating a dynasty of lucky people with unfair advantages, for even your children will be born to other parents. But so what? You're already dead, right? Well, it seems that very few souls can handle the idea of being erased. Most of us like to believe our lives mattered, even if it was only to our loved ones. Heck, even if your life was mostly a struggle, at least it was your struggle. Choosing to become a guardian means nothing you ever achieved, learned, or endured will have mattered. Yeah, anyone who says that it's an easy sacrifice is a moron. But you, I'm sure you can imagine the extraordinary amount of love it takes to become a guardian. Just imagine erasing everything you ever were for a person who never knew you, someone who is a complete stranger. Now, imagine a guardian sacrificing so much, then reviewing your life to find your darkest experience, the one which will drop you into a pit of unending pain and despair. Imagine them spending their entire stock of influence, about 500 words, just to urgently whisper a helpful warning into your ear. Can you imagine all that? Good. Then maybe you can imagine how much I hated you. My helpful whisper in your ear? Good luck tomorrow.